Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Feel Good Porn Station. I am super thrilled to be with you today as I am embarking on a new series. This is the Try Something New series, and today I am trying the Ghosty Marble Pour. This is inspired by Denny Joe, and this is my very first attempt ever of this technique. So I'm taking you through the journey, what I've learned, the good and the bad, and I hope you really enjoy it. This is an 8 by 10 inch canvas and you can see that I have laid down a base paint and I have laid down what we would call the ghost paint here. Um, and so this is um, a combination of paint and then I take a marble and roll through it to get some really beautiful painting effects. Now y'all, my camera stopped recording for some strange reason. Alright, All right, so, so ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen this, this is the dry, dry results. results and I'm really happy. I mean, I've studied this painting or this technique uh, for a couple of hours. Uh, so I'd say at least two to three days um, over time and really was just thinking about all the different techniques that I've done and the thickness of paint. And so I'm close. So what I'm going to try to do um, is actually paint entirely on camera so you can see the process. But... I need to make some small adjustments to my white. I want this to show up more and I want don't want to have these little dots. So I have some ideas. Uh, I need to increase the pigment load of my paint without increasing the thickness too much. Love the matte finish. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple beginner's tips with this technique that I know for sure I need to keep in mind. Right, so here is some paint that I mixed up. Um, I found, or I'm finding that this may be one of those techniques where it really does benefit the artist to mix the paint the day before and let it rest. Okay, so that is exactly what I've done. And to get a feel for the consistency, um, this is not house paint. Um, so, so if you've seen any of Denny Joe's videos, she has told us that her black is about a one to one ratio. Um, I have gone a little thicker than that, just a little bit. And that's going to lead me to my very first tip. Mixing your paints a day ahead and allowing them to rest is going to help you avoid pinholes. Um, Pinholes kind of destroy the look of the piece to me. And they will be hard to fill in because we're stretching our white and gr creating gradient changes. Now for my white, I cannot tell you what's exactly in here because right now I'm trying to figure out the recipe myself and I'm playing around. Um, I share just about everything on my channel. Um, and so I kind of want to perfect this first and get, get, you know, but I can tell you that the base is satin enamels. All right, Jenny, Denny Joe told us this too. <laughs> um, this consistency is very similar to Australian flow trial three to one, which we know we use for our what? Balloons. All right, so this is my second ish attempt. I am going to take it up a notch, <laughs> if you will. I'm gonna try and add the gold um, that Denny Joe added in some of her videos, okay? This is a custom goal. I mixed a smorgasbord of things together. I want it to fall somewhere between opaque and semi-opaque. I don't want it to be too heavy, but I know that with stretching, um, if you use a transparent, that goal is going to either become green or you're not, it, I don't think you're going to see much of it. Um, so gold is already a hard color to work with on top of black. So that is how I ended up somewhere between semi opaque and opaque that's that was a free tip for y'all i wasn't even planning on adding that in there but merry christmas happy kwanzaa happy earth day okay so also in her painting she also used these little contraptions i think these are the same ones um these are cake decorating applicator bottles and so i really see the the need now because you take this painting and you're drizzling these little lines, but 
you're stretching it like a very long ways. And those lines grew a lot faster than I thought they would um, in the first trial. So being able to have really small lines um, may really help to make the lines a little smaller as they expand. So rip me out the plastic. So this is what they look like. And it has a little teeny little hole. Fancy. <laughs> so here I'm laying down my base paint and this is not a tip yet because I'm not totally sure, but I feel like you need a lot of base paint because you have to move this paint. You gotta move it. Stretch that white paint and make it ghost. All right, let me add my gold because once we get that white down, we need to be getting that gold on there pretty quick. So I'm just pouring it into the bottle here. And this doesn't have a lid. So friends, this won't made for this won't made for us. So we got to compromise or improvise or do something. <laughs> and my paint is really spreading out. So I'm gonna try to be quick. These are my weapons. <laughs> Pops of popsicle stick and a skewer. I'm gonna use that to put my white paint down. We're going to put my marble down and hope for the best. I'm just going to place it here. I'm not going to do too much with it. pretty let's see what happens if it holds up Okay, I love the bottom here. I 
tilting is a delicate balance on this type of painting so far. Okay, uh, I got a little ways to go. I'm not liking it that great. I feel like the first one looked better. But let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. So we might as well get what we can off. And let's see if we can actually smush this back down some. Make it look decent at least. My God. <laughs> I'm just being super critical, y'all. This is how I paint when I'm in my room by myself. Okay, I can fix those areas. Um, it's not bad. I'm just overly critical. Um, I like to be able to do what I want to with the paints and I'm learning every time I do what I'm learning. All right, so close up. I like the white. It's not breaking up yet. I don't know if it will, like in my dry piece. Um, there seems to be a little more concentration of the white but it's really spread out like a whole lot and it makes it look ugly. <laughs> so I am going to do a report. Just want to get you guys in close. Um, I like the gold, but I'm going to adjust that as well. All right. So I think we could do a little better than this. Give you another unsolicited tip. Pour overs sometimes make the best paintings. I don't know why, cannot explain it. But as any seasoned artist, most of your best pours end up being a pour over. So in the interim, I did thicken up my paints a bit, just a little bit to see if I'm headed in the right direction. y'all isn't that so pretty how that came off like that oh that's gorgeous look like a little christmas tree oh christmas tree oh christmas tree <laughs> love this pattern i if i could just keep this i'd be happy like isn't that just gorgeous just the way it is All right, so let's go ahead and tilt since we can't leave it this way.
I think it's too stretched. I do like my white paints better. I like the paints better. I do. All right, friends. So I think we're going to call it not bad. I love this. The, the painting is too stretched for me, so I'm going to have to really sit back and ponder on this one. Um, I just wish that it wasn't so stretched. I love the little, what we would call, cells here uh, from the little dot, tiny dots of white. But something, I just got to, I got to play around with this technique a little bit. All right, here is a side up too close up. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad. Lots of fun and experimenting. That is what fluid art is all about. It's experimental. Is that a word? Experimental. <laughs> and then, you know, you learn. You never stop learning in this art form. Okay, y'all. I'm I'm happy. 
Uh, it's not what I want, but it, it's getting closer. It's getting closer, so I'm going to touch up. Got to add some paint here. Oh, I think that'll be really pretty if it dries. All right, after making a mess, this is for real the last time. Um, I didn't think about it so much this time, and I got some really cool um, depth and separation with the marble. This, I want to play with this. I wanted to get a really thin Pashka pen or some type of paint pen and create something with this, do some embellishment. But I'm happy. I'm going to keep trying. I want to be able to master this technique. So, All right, it's been 24 hours and our piece is nearly dry. Um, we had a big temperature change and the heat kicked on unexpectedly last night. So I think that contributed to drying this piece faster. I'm a little disappointed uh, because I got some flocculation and i haven't really been able to pinpoint the cause there are a lot of things going on but um it's good to try new things and it's not bad it, the composition is really actually still pretty i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some gold leafing and go over all these gold areas so you may see this piece again maybe a where are they now piece uh but this is only the beginning i'm going to do at least a couple more videos on this um i want to master it okay so just a final look for you it's almost completely dry I hope you enjoyed this video exploring something new. Family, remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I will see you in another video very soon. Peace.